had a previous system, a previously built machine, computer, I call them machines, retro, and what, um, what I'm doing today, what I'm starting to do today, is disassemble the old machine so that I can start building the new one. Here's the case, this is the old case, uh, nothing's old about it, the case itself is relatively new. Uh, I wanted to um, do uh, a rebuild last year, so I had started, and, and to me at the time it was just replacing the case, getting better airflow and, and taking advantage of some of the newer case designs that, um, but as you can see I've disassembled most of the components in it, there's nothing in it, I mean, it's pretty messy over here, right? Uh, cords. Already did sleeving here, so ideally what that means for us is, is that I get to have a much more a prettier looking system. Um, what you guys don't see here, what you can't see is is what I'm doing down here. This is vinegar, and I'm just kind of soaking all the um, all the other, all the components, all the uh, compressors and the fittings that I had for the water cooling here, I'm just letting them soak in there, um, mainly to get rid of all the, the color that kind of residued inside them. Continuing my, continuing my um, cleaning here. Uh, a lot of this stuff, like I said, was from a previous build. The machine by no means was underpowered. It's just, uh, it's time for, uh, you know, cleaning the, the tubes, replacing the, the water, or the liquid rather, and just making, just doing some general maintenance. Um, these are typically things you don't have to do if you are uh, purchasing a computer pre-built. Still cleaning the CPU. And really, you should be cleaning this inside the motherboard tray. Because with these prongs sticking out like that, I'm just asking for one of them to get bent. Just asking for it. So this is so bad. Um, but as you can see, I'm being gentle and careful. I'm trying so hard. Nice and clean. At some point, I'm going to need to run uh, the machine, and so what I um, what I'm going to do is just get the uh, monitor set up. Here. Over. You're welcome to join us. Nice. If I was where you were, I definitely would. I am in Arizona. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay, is there anything else I can assist you with today? <clears throat> no, I think I'm good. I appreciate your help. Not a problem, sir. Happy New Year to you. Yeah. I hope that everything goes well later and you guys have a great time. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy uh, your New Year. No problem. Okay, yeah, so what you just witnessed there was a conversation I had with Amazon. Long story, but I uh, just want you to know, um, because this might happen in your lives, if a postman comes to your door and says, hey, you owe me some money, don't jump to conclusions. Just try to get as much details as you can, and then... Um, See if you can't figure it out there on the spot. Because what happened was, I, I just thought it was so absurd that a postman or driver would ask for more money for a package that was physically right in front of me. I mean, he, he really had it. He had it right in front of me. That I just didn't want to pay. I said, this is silly. You know, this doesn't sound right. This is sketchy. Uh, my package said no shipping on Amazon. Uh, none of this makes sense. I don't, I'm not going to pay. Uh, I'll call 
I'll call the post office, I'll call Amazon. And sure enough, I did, but just know that, like, calling those guys, especially during the holiday season, I'm talking, like, two or three hours of on the phone waiting and being shuffled back between companies left and right. So, word of advice, if this ever happens to you, and I don't think it'll ever happen to you, but if it does, just go uh, just pay the money and figure out how to get that money back from Amazon later. Okay, uh, still cleaning. Still cleaning. I don't recommend using power tools when building a computer, you know, but if it's low powered and you can, and it doesn't produce maybe static, I don't know if any of them do produce static, but you know what I'm trying to say, just be careful. I do have this little guy though, hammerhead, whatever, it's electric, I use that all the time. I know it looks like a power drill, but it's not, it's actually like a little gun. A little more powerful, but um, what I like about it is that it can do a gun-like action, and it actually changes the edge or the head of the gun, so check it out, it's, it's right now it's Phillips, right? I don't know if you can see that, it's Phillips, and I cock it back. Now it's flathead. Flathead. Okay. Interesting, right? <coughs> when I started building computers, I didn't know. Um, what pieces fit what, especially when it came to water cooling. Actually, I hope this, this, this video here, or the start of these videos here, will be uh, informative, right? Because um, when I started, I had no idea what I was doing. And I really wanted a water-cooled machine. I thought they looked so cool. And everything from overclocking to choosing the right tube, diameter, and the width and all that just doesn't exist so this work uh, i don't need the lid but okay oh. <laughs> i got it other than that for those of you who don't know me my name is eric and i am just a hobbyist i don't have any agenda i'm not trying to make the best computers in the world or, or whatnot i'm just really Trying to share. So, um, thanks for joining me, and I will. I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.